Hey guys, this is Jeremy from the TV Box Professionals and today I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset or format your Android TV box. So you're going to want to do this if after several months of having your, your TV box you're finding that it's buffering a lot more often, it's, it's not working as smoothly as it did when you first purchased your box and set it up. So the only major downside about doing this is all the applications or add-ons that you installed after you purchased your box and you first got it, you're going to have to put that stuff back onto your box. However, the benefits include a much faster box and you're not going to get the buffer or uh, lockup and things like that as often anymore. So basically, you're, you're going to have a new product once again. So what we're going to do to do a factory reset, it's a very simple process. You're going to go to settings. This is a Q box. So each of the, the launch screens is slightly different on, on most boxes. But in general, each of the launch screens is going to have a settings option. So you're going to go ahead and click on the settings. And then inside the settings, you're going to see a storage and reset. It'll either be here or if you go under more settings, depending on how your box is set up, you're going to see back up and reset. So either way, you can either go to that factory data reset, or we'll go back to this one. This says factory data reset also. So we're going to go ahead and click on that, and click factory data reset once again. It's going to ask you if you want to erase everything. You're going to go ahead and click that. As soon as you click that, it's going to start your, your factory data reset. So as you can see, the, the factory data reset is taking place right now. This is the loading screen of the cue box. Um, during this time, it can take three to five minutes to reinstall all the firmware. So I have to stress, I really want to stress that at no point during the factory data reset that you, you disconnect power or turn off your box. If you do that, uh, there's a high likelihood that you're going to brick your box and that means it's not going to be usable. You'll have to, there, there are methods to get it working once again that I'm not going to cover in this video, but the easiest way to avoid that is just be patient and give yourself five or ten minutes and your box should be up and running again. So I'm just going to pause the video at this point and uh, let this go through, you know, the three to five minutes of loading and installing, and then I'll be back. So at this point, the factory reset is complete. Once again, I really want to stress that at no point during that process should you have unplugged power or should you unplug power. Um, this is quite critical, like the chances are of uh, bricking your box are, are real. So just be patient during that time and your box will be up and running again in a couple of minutes. So once again, you're going to want to do this after a couple of months. If you're finding that your box isn't working properly anymore, it doesn't work as good as it did when you first purchased it, I really encourage you to give this a shot before going out and buying a new new TV box because 90% of the cases, this is really going to breathe a lot of life back into your, your TV box and it's going to work a lot better for you. It's going to get rid of a lot of uh, frustrating circumstances. So once again, this is Jeremy from the TV Box Professionals. I hope this video helps some people out. And uh, if it does, please leave a like below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time.